It's a bazoo. Today we are making a classic, an Italian Roman classic. It's known as uh, spaghetti alla carbonara. All right, so stick around because we're going to have a lot of fun and this is really delicious. So stick around. These are the ingredients. I got three yolks. Let me show you. Three yolks. You got some bacon. I will explain a little bit about the bacon over here. And uh, Parmesan cheese. And also, I'm going to be saying something about the Parmesan cheese. And a little bit of parsley. Anyway, of course, spaghetti. We got the water boiling over there. Anyway, uh, bacon. In Italy, they really don't use the bacon. They use a, a kind of a pancetta, known as a. a I like my belly, by the way. <laughs> I got my uh, summer pizza shirt. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got the white shirt on today. You look a little heavy today, huh? <laughs> um, anyway, back to this. Um, they, they call it a um, guanciale. Guanciale is a, it's, it's a little different from, from bacon. Bacon is more like a smoke thing that we use here in the pizza parlor. We don't have, I don't have the guanciale. But I have this, and I make, a, I make the uh, carbonara quite many times. And you know what? It comes out really good. And it's, a little, it's a little different, but the original one is actually the guanciale. And... The grated cheese, I use Parmesan cheese, the actual, the actual uh, uh, original one, it's called, uh, it's the Pecorino Romano. I don't use Pecorino Romano because it's got that sheep taste, many people don't like that. So I use the, the, uh, the uh, Parmesan, it's really good, sweet, and it comes out just as good. I forgot the fork, so I had to go get the fork, so back I am, my, okay, here we go. The first thing I do is actually get the, uh, the egg yolk, I don't use whole, whole eggs, I use the egg yolk better and what I do is I make a uh, kind of a uh, heavy more like a cream thing you know uh, I, I mix it together and I make it kind of you know this way the reason why I do this that since this has no cream now remember no cream you don't put cream inside the carbonara at least we don't so you, the, the, the idea of making the cream out of this dish you only got You have to make it out of uh, the egg yolk and the parmesan, and of course a little bit of the water from the pasta, which I got the water boiling over there. Come on down here. You're gonna cook some pasta and give it about oh I say about eight nine minutes, and uh, I'll show you what's next. Okay, now. The reason why I actually make this, see how nice and thick it got with the Parmesan with the egg yolk, see that? The reason why I do that is because if you don't do it that way, unless you like are a professional carbonara maker and you can just throw the egg yolk right inside the hot steamy pasta and, you won't, and it won't break on you and it won't turn like a uh, scrambled egg, then you, you can do it the other way. But I like doing it this way because chances are it won't break on me and it won't become scrambled and you get the right so watch, spaghetti is almost done. How do I look? <laughs> First thing you do is uh, we'll cook up a little bit this uh, bacon. We don't have the guanciale. Guanciale is more like a, a thick piece of, uh, uh, almost like a bacon. It's not really smoked. And they cut it up in little pieces. That's the original one, you know. But um, it comes out pretty good with this too. This is smoked, by the way. What we do is we'll cook this up. We wait until the the actual uh, uh, oil fat of it, you know, comes out, and that's gonna make like a that's a very important, very important for this dish because that's what really gonna make the uh, the carbonara. So I'm gonna lower the flame a little bit. You know that fat that the uh, bacon took out? Okay, that's very important. You leave that in there now because that's what's gonna give you the taste. The spaghetti's are almost cooked. Yeah, perfect. You don't want to cook too much. 
I'll shut this off. Get the spaghetti to come right into the uh, bacon. And that should be kind of enough. That should be enough. Mix it up a little bit with the uh, spaghetti. Okay. okay. Once we've got that going, shut that off that a little bit. The oil is actually very, very hot. You don't want to put any salt in there because the bacon has enough salt. So is the Parmesan that's very salty already as it is. Actually, the, the original one is going with the pecorino. Pecorino is very salty. It's not that salty. So we'll go, we'll see how it goes. See how it is? It's kind of dry a little bit, right? So what we do is we grab a uh, tomato and we throw in some of this pasta water in there. Okay. And we make like a kind of a juice in the bottom. It won't become cream yet unless I add that uh, that, egg, that egg yolk and the parmesan. Now we're going to do that right now. Okay. The fire is off. Okay. We'll put, put that in there. You see, you're going to start, you're going to start seeing it turn. Turn into like a cream, yellow patch of cream. And then, since the fire is off, it's not that hot, it's gonna turn into a cream. Now, a little more water, throw a little more water so we can make that nice looking cream. See? Okay, we're gonna start seeing that cream. Now we turn it on, turn it back on a little bit. So we start making it a little thicker, so it starts getting a little thicker now. I can put the rest of it. Put the rest of this uh, egg in there. Couldn't get it out. Couldn't get it out with the uh, fork. Clean it out now. Add it in there. Now you can see how that cream is. See that cream? See how it's getting nice and thick? Okay. No need to put any. No need to put any cream in here. It automatically becomes real thick. And I tell you, the taste of this is fantastic. At the end, what I do is look at that. See. Look at that nice cream. I'm gonna put a little, a little more water, make a little more, a little more cream in this. Okay. And put a little bit of black pepper. Black pepper is very important in the uh, spaghetti alla carbonara. Okay. Look at that. Okay. You have to work it. Keep working it. Once you work it, it won't break on you. And that nice cream that you're looking for is there. And look at that. Look at that beautiful cream that's in there. Huh? That's exactly what you're looking for. That's about it. Put a little bit of, little bit of parsley on that. Give it a little bit of color. All right. And uh, we're just going to plate it up. Now plate it up. Look at this beautiful cream. Look at this cream over there, okay? Look at that. Oh, it's fantastic. Put a little bit of salt in it, like I said. Since this is not, this is not a pecorino romano, it's more like a parmesan. It's not that salty. Pecorino romano is a little more saltier, so you don't have to put it, you have to put any salt. But when you have parmesan, then you might put a little bit of salt in it. Look at that beautiful cream. So, there you go. This is spaghetti alla carbonara. Put a little bit of cream on top. Mmm, look at that, that looks great. Yeah, put a little more parmesan on top of that. A little bit of the, a little bit of parsley. And this is the, actually, summer pizza spaghetti like carbonara. And it works out really good. It's got a great taste. You guys should give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see how it is. I think it's, I think it's not just fun cuts. Is it good? Fantastic Hey guys, try this at the house. Very easy to do. You don't have to get the corn chale. You can have it. You can use the bacon and uh, do it exactly how I did. You're gonna have a great spaghetti alla carbonara. I'll see you guys next time. This is Pasta Vazul and this is Pasta Vazul. Ciao. Bye bye.
Hey YouTubers, thanks for watching my video. <laughs> oh my gosh, this stuff came out so good. Mama mia. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't stop eating. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I can't stop eating this so good. <laughs> 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 Try this, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe. There's a button around here somewhere. So, ciao. See you next time. This is Andy from Passive Azul. Hey, YouTubers. Thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed my video, just say Pasta Azul. And of course, subscribe. And I'll see you next time on my next video. Ciao.